I feel like Vitafly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime roll. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That one was crazy out the game. Time has Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire fly. We used to rapping like that. We on our way. Where? To a foreign place. Yeah. Tattoo my passport. Check these foreign plates. We gon' be here for a minute. Purdy's touring dates. Don't know the name. Get familiar. These ain't foreign faces. Hey, can't put niggas that let leagues validate their relevance. Against the nigga that's the leader of the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. That's how you feel? Okay, that's how you feel. That's how you feel. All right, all right. <clears throat> you already know what it is. Let's get right to it, man. So, ARP, salute to ARP, Rare Breed Entertainment, and everything that they do for the battle rap culture with their social distancing card. They had a lot of good social distancing battles and was pretty much entertaining us while all of this quarantine was going on. Uh, dropping all their battles for free on YouTube. You had shots fired, you had head ice firing shots, you had the 40 cal, you had uh, Sharon versus Street Hymns. It was a lot of joints. But now he doubles back. Now you double back. <laughs> yes, you're, you're good with this. So he doubles back and sets up up and comer Street Hymns in a battle with a goat, a legend. Didn't even say who it was against. And uh, joint released yesterday, and it was none other than Murder Mook. Um, what I will say for Street Hymns, visually, artistically, you did what you do every time. You provide a dope vision. When everyone appears bigger to this horse, I gave y'all bar after bar while still proclaiming that the Lord died. Y'all ain't woke. Something's in the water. Before I let you take the floor ride. There's three of you, one here, one doing the ad libs, one doing the vocals. Dope. Lyrically, I know you didn't know. The way this looks is you didn't know who you were going against, so you just prepared a verse as in preparing a verse. And um, it was it was cool. I'm not going to take nothing from it. But for the majority, the consensus, I think this is more about Murder Mook. So what I'm going to say is you, you did what you do. I got no issue with it. Visually, artistically, you're going to continue to grow. And, you know, hopefully you continue to do what you do. You have something on your resume that a lot of people will never have. So with that being said, I'm going to give you a golf clap. You, a lot of people cannot say that they battle Murder Mook. I said for a relatively new battle rapper, one that has zero big stage battles and the only million view people he's ever battled was Farah and Shuni. No dudes. Only two million view battle list he's ever battled, Farrah and Shuni. That's a fact. Um, to get Murder Mook is like somebody being drafted number one overall in the NBA after their first year of not college, but high school. So for you to have that battle, which would be called one, even though it really wasn't, it was two videos put together on your belt, is a phenomenal thing, and Murder Mook's gonna do numbers. So, shoo, over to Murder Mook. Man, let me tell you, I got notes, I got votes, I got jokes, I got quotes. He went off. He went off. Now, in my time, as a fan, you know what I'm saying? Like, let's remove everything. Let's remove the lights. Let's remove the big, the, all of that. As a fan, I've been a fan of Murder Mook. I am a fan of Murder Mook. But I know from the DVD era what he was capable of. You know what I'm saying? Like, him versus Jay Mills. Him versus Party Artie. Him versus Party Artie is still probably my favorite battle of all time. You know what I'm saying? I caught you off the rebound like Ben Wallace, gave her $10, told her, holla, I'm a boss, I don't talk to workers, you know what I'm saying, like, I'm gonna pop this nigga up, but I ain't tripping, no, I'm gonna chop this nigga up like Chinese chicken, easy, party arty, rest in peace, and then you had Murder Mook, you know, he was going through, he was doing what he was doing, my flip flipped like four tile, split like straw my lamb down, like, he was wilding in them days, him versus, um, Loaded Lux in the store, you know what I'm saying, that was a different era. Um, Murder Mook then went on to do music, uh, you know, he got with Busta Rhymes, he did a bunch of things musically, and uh, he built a lot of commercial success, but he had always been known as that brand, as the person who really put on for battle rap. Like, I remember when Cassidy was, came back and he was talking his talk, but for a lot of us, he, Cassidy wasn't really identifiable with the battle rap, because it was like he had the freeway battle and nothing else. Like, it was like, I didn't remember him 
really. I mean, I remembered what he did bar-wise, but I couldn't remember him as the cultural ambassador. Now, Murder Moon, he takes a long break, he comes back, you know, he battled against Iron Solomon, he battled against Loaded Lux, and then he battled against uh, Averb in the um, Rare Breed Entertainment battle. A good, there's a good majority of people who had him losing. There's some people who felt like he won, but it's not about that right now. He does a social distancing verse, but it's not really a battle because I don't think he knew he was battling Street Hymns either. He put the culture on notice. Like Murder Mook went crazy, and I got I got the I got the notes. Yo, when I tell you. His lyrical content was very, very potent. Now, I get it. I know that some people who's going to be like, oh, I'm not jocking that because y'all in the era of the gun sounds and the bow and my gun's so big. I be clicking with the dang gun so big, but I got to buy it an extra seat on the plane and all them other dumbass lyrics that a lot of these niggas be going crazy over. And, you know, the, the, the Glock clicking, the Glock. I, I get it. They, that, it's a different... So, let's just... Let's put all that, let's put that shit to the side right now. Murder Mook said, Nobody had moves to go out and mark y'all calendars. My whipping old school, where I'm from, you couldn't afford to dodge no challenges. Now let's check the caliber. Um, that basically, in, in a sense, is saying, in his day with DVD era, you couldn't afford to dodge no challenges. Going block to block to block to block. You show up on a block, it might be J.R. Ryder. You show up on a block, it might be Rest in Peace Fred the Godson. You show up on a block, it might be J. Mills. It might be any shells. Uh, you had so many cats that were so lyrically nice. Bloated Luxes, T-Rexes, Murder Mooks. And there was no, I can't battle him right now. It's not going to do nothing for my career. It was not, It was none of that. You couldn't afford to dodge no challenges. If you dodge somebody or you duck somebody, it was your name was in the hood. Like you had to battle whoever it was. You know what I'm saying? So I thought that that was very a significant ball. <laughs> my whipping, cause my whip, my whipping is old school. Like my whipping. So he's saying drive. So he's it's a double entendre, cause he's saying his drive, which is the drive, and his whipping, like beating people. Double, that was a fire double entendre. My whipping old school, where I'm from, you couldn't afford to dodge no challenges. So he's saying, you know, the Ford, then he switches it to dodge, and then he switches it to challenger. Like, Mook has a mind like that, where he's able to double entendre without even double entendre. That was fire. Uh, he said, when it's, when it's, when it's this, that's when they get into this Caitlyn Jenner sh That's when they gender switch and niggas act bitch. They start acting like estrogen on a card is gonna bless them with extra benefits. Well, listen, pussy, let's be in the ring. I'm Ellen, all you degenerates. Um, he said they acting like estrogen on a card is gonna bless them with extra benefits. A lot of dudes nowadays be battling against female rappers. You know what I'm saying? Like the the, the, the guys versus the girls. He's saying he calling. He's saying they gender switch, calling them bitch. Let's 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 be in. All you, I'm Ellen, all you degenerates. I'm Ellen, like Ellen, Ellen DeGeneres, but I'm Ellen, another double entendre. He comes with one double entendre, drops in another one. I'm Ellen, all you degenerates. Like, that's a double double, because it's an Ellen, L has two meanings. It's an Ellen giving all of you an L, and then degenerates and degenerates. That's a fire flip. This is crazy. This writing, when you really like, 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 remove all cultural bias as far as Murder Moves old, who remove that. But when you break down every line and listen to what he's saying, like the science, like Cassidy says, the lines is crazy. Uh, th this was, this next set of book, when you start, I know when you started writing, like that about 2097 and shit like that. And my man Showtime SP, who's at work today, uh, he definitely had a lot of love for Moose Verse. Um, he had to work, but I wanted to get this out because I got things to do later. So it's like we got we got to keep the, the it's got to keep got to keep it moving. Um, he said the issue with you new niggas is y'all too y'all ain't used to getting disciplined for y'all ignorance. Y'all get a couple of W's and start moving like y'all invented this. <sighs> Who is he talking to? The <sighs> the issue with you new niggas is you not getting disciplined for your ignorance. 
Y'all get a couple of W's and start moving like you invented this. And he's saying, you know, the new niggas, they don't really get disciplined for their ignorance. They do dumb shit. They don't show up to battles. They do all this other goofy shit. Uh, and, and they don't get, there's no discipline for their ignorance. There's none whatsoever. And that's the fact. Like, a lot of the times, people be like, well, what's going to happen to this person? He did this. What's going to happen to that? They be on the next card, the next card, the next card. There's no discipline for their ignorance. I thought this shit was super fire. Y'all get a couple of W's and start moving like y'all invented this. Then y'all get to question my penmanship. Like, what's his significance? Nigga, my significance is y'all existences. <laughs> the significance is y'all existences? That was crazy. Tell me that was Y'all bugging, yo. Yo, y'all niggas is bugging. I know y'all niggas is on that bullshit, but yo, this verse right here. Oh, yeah. This verse right here. Yeah, it, it hurts. It hurts careers. Then he said... You can't put niggas that let leagues validate their relevance against a nigga that's the leader of the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Now that shit right there. <laughs> Who's he talking to? Who do you think he's talking to? Oh, you don't know? Okay, I'll tell you who he's talking to. You can't put niggas that let leagues validate their relevance against a nigga that's the leader of the Extraordinary... He's basically talking to the battle rappers who can't go here, can't go there, let leagues... Validate their relevance. Like, when did we ever get to a point where uh, where the leagues could tell the talent like you can't do this, you can't do that, you can't do this, you can't talk about this, you can't go here, you can't go there? Huh? 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 huh. You niggas got grown men telling you to get back across the street? Nah, nigga, it shouldn't be like that. Shouldn't be like that. The talent should always be put to the forefront. But that's a conversation for another day. But yeah, that was a fire line. Um, then he addressed. He pretty much addressed everything in his freestyle. He addressed a lot of shit. He talked about Dot Mob. We had some turbulent years, but we don't let we don't want to hear no critiques about what you heard or you hear. Cause we police ourselves when it comes to internal affairs. <laughs> that was stupid. Um, he said then he then he got to the culture. He said that y'all let somebody with the better raps, y'all let niggas say somebody with the better raps lost to a nigga cause he had a better act. Like that's the performance era where they'll be like, yo, his bars was better. He performed better. We just seen that shit like recently. A nigga whose pen was better than like we see this shit often. A nigga with the better pen takes the loss because the other person had more moments. That's what they call this shit. Had moments or made more people go ooh. So somebody with the better raps lost to a nigga because he had the better act. We conforming our performance to some niggas that ain't never rap. <sighs> Listen, um. That's the murder mook that a lot of us older fans are used to, or that we that we grew to love, that we made the logo, that people put the culture behind. And what I will say about murder mook is he can still do this shit at a high level. He can still do this at a high level. That that verse alone was super crazy, super super crazy. One of the better verses I've heard during this whole quarantine period is that Murder Mook. I still got Head Ice verse like way crazy, crazy, but Mook is like up there too. This shit right here, and it wasn't as long. Like in a three minute ish, 233 minute ish verse, Mook did his thing. But salute to ARP for making this happen. Like you got, how do, he got Murder Mook to do a, a social distancing verse? Like what? That doesn't happen often. Um, It was fire though. I definitely, I definitely, definitely, definitely give him a lot of props, credit, and admiration because uh, I wouldn't have thought, I personally would not have thought that he would have done something like this. And like I said, I know yesterday when the joint came out, it was like Murder Moot versus Street Hymns, but I don't, this wasn't really a battle because they didn't, nobody mentioned the other person. And you could tell the way it was written is that it wasn't written for the other person. It was just you try to come up with your best bars. And um, like I said, while Street Hymns did the thing visually, his visual was crazy. The bars, I really don't know what he was talking about. I'm going to be honest with you. I, I listened to it, um, but I, I didn't really grasp what he was getting at. I'm going to be honest. It is what it is. So I got, if, it, if you want to call it a battle, I got Murder Move 1-0 oh, clearly, clearly in, in level of content. Murder Move was just at the park on the swing set, just barring people's lives away. You can't. You can't, you can't let niggas who let leagues validate their relevance when I'm the leader of the league of extraordinary.
Sheesh. Sheesh. I mean, dude. That was, that was crazy out the gate. Um, salute to Murder Moop. I know at times I've been cr critical of his performances, but it's just because I know I know what he can do. Like a lot of the time, there'll be battle rappers like, "Oh, this person, he's you see, he, you're hating. He's hating. He's hating. He's hating. He's hating. He's a hater." Um, I say no because when you know what somebody is capable of doing, and you vocalize that, and you just want to see what you know them for doing. That's not hating. That's not hating. People do it in sports every day. Like if Jay-Z drops a, 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 a whack album, like when he dropped the joint, well, it's a couple albums that ain't been that great. People call him out like, yo, ho, we know what you're capable of doing. We've seen you at your best. Like, what is this? It's not hating on someone because you just, you just want to see better. Like, you know what I mean? But he's been doing his thing. Him versus Verb, that wasn't a bad battle. You know what I'm saying? That, that third round was 22 minutes. I mean, Mook is a fucking legend. So we only, I'm going to... I love the verse. I got you winning. Uh, you know there's gonna be more MCs that are gonna wanna see about that though. Uh, now I still wanna see him versus Solid or Don. I definitely do. But uh, other than that, salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, salute to ARP. Um, I appreciate you could have held this battle and dropped a whole bunch of other social distancing joints first, but you dropped it first, which was fire. And um, keep it going, man. I definitely appreciate and respect what everything y'all doing over there. Foreign place, tattoo my passport. Check these foreign plates. We gon' be here for a minute. Purdy's touring dates. Don't know the name, get familiar. These ain't foreign faces. We stay on the moves. Y'all sitting and wait. Got too much to lose. There's no room for procrastination. I go get the bag. Homie, that's a fact. By any means, I'ma bring it back. Counting you, counting you. The crew we pay, yes. flip that currency, flip that currency. We ain't come to play. Nah, I see dead people, dead green and blue all day.